So I've installed North Korea's Red Star OS, and in my last video, I saved a text file to a USB drive that is plugged into my computer, and I plugged it into my Red Star OS virtual machine to see if Red Star would modify the file. Turns out it didn't, but a lot of you guys were roasting me in the comments saying that I should have used a more sophisticated file format than just a text file, and that I should maybe use something more contraband. So this time on my USB drive, I have a regular docx word file, I have the South Park documentary on Kim Jong-un himself in MP4, AVI, and MKV formats. I have the Wikipedia page on totalitarianism saved in HTML format, and I have a picture of Kim Jong-un himself as well. Now, like my last video, what I've done is I've gone through each file and I've checked the checksum of each file. Now, for this experiment, we only need one of these. I'm going to use SHA-256 today. And if you're new here, basically the checksum is a function that the file gets run through. And if the file gets modified, this output will get modified. So what I've done is I've taken the SHA-256 of every single file on the USB stick, and I've recorded it in this document. So next I'm going to plug the USB stick into Red Star OS. And first I'm not going to open any of the files. I'm just going to plug in the USB stick and I'll just open it. And we can see all of our files here. I'm just going to eject the USB stick. And after just plugging in the USB stick but not opening anything, everything's still the exact same. Now we'll actually try opening the files and see what happens. So back in Red Star, I'll plug the USB back into my virtual machine here. And this time I'm actually going to open all the files. Now, I don't know if it's actually going to support all the video formats. No, it doesn't look like it. it supports MP4, it looks like. And supports AVI and HTML should open in the web browser, and I'll open the Word file as well. All right, I've opened all the files on the USB stick in Red Star. Now I'll just close them, and I'll eject the USB stick. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna record my reaction right now, so I didn't think anything was gonna happen. Stuff is actually changing. Just give me a second here and I'll show you guys. Okay, this is wild. So the HTML file, the docx word file, and the MKV file didn't get changed, but the JPEG, the AVI, and the MP4 files did get modified. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, coming into this, I didn't think anything was gonna happen, but that's actually wild. I'm going to see if I can see any like additional metadata in here as to what's actually changed or... Hmm, not off the bat, but I wonder if I have to use a hex editor or something. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do that. But uh, yeah, it looks like this is real. It actually does modify media files if you open them.